Tonight we're talking how to be a little healthier with Carol George from the Clarion Hospital. Also, we'll be talking about the Clarion County Job Center with Dora Lee Smathers. But first, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the show that was on last week that I didn't even know was on until after the fact. Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire? All this tonight on Feedback. Good evening and welcome to Feedback. As I said tonight, we're going to be talking about a wide variety of things. Coming up um, after the break, we're going to be talking with Carol George from the Clarion Hospital uh, about uh, how to be healthier this year and maybe some things that you can do. Also, later, we're going to be showing you an interview I did last week with Doralee Smathers from the Clarion County Job Center. But first, as is my usual style, I usually find something in the paper or whatever to talk to you about and, and generally complain about. And, Tonight is no different, of course. Um, last Tuesday night, I guess it was, um, I went home from working down here at TV5. You know, we have the newscast on Tuesdays. I was working there. Went home, sit down, I, I flip on the television, and uh, the Republican primary was on. And you know, I'm a geek, so that's what I was watching. Um, that's what I watched for the rest of the evening. I watched the news, went to bed. So the next day, I wake up, and I pick up my newspapers. Front page article, New York Times. Uh, lights, camera, marriage, and big ratings. This might have, this might have actually been um, Wednesday's paper or, or Thursday's paper. I'm not sure. But it was front page. This was the first time I had actually even heard about this program. Um, what it is, because maybe some of you haven't heard about it, but it's been in the news a little bit over the last few days. It was a program where these women, I, I don't remember how many there were. There was like, I would say maybe 50 women. I'm not sure. Um, went on stage and tried to marry a millionaire. Basically, they had to compete or whatever, I don't know, to marry this millionaire. Um, it, was, it was pretty stereotypical if you look at it because the woman, well, basically what they're stereotyping in the show, I'm not saying this is true, that women are after a man with money and a man is just after a woman, which is essentially what they were saying in this program. Now, I didn't watch it, but I read the article. Apparently, a lot of you watched it. This is quoting from the New York Times article. Um, the show would have, the, the final figure of how many people watched the show, would have put the special among the top six shows in all television if it had been shown, I guess, the week before. Um, I don't know how they compiled that. But the most women who were watching this, the most people watching it, were women, were teenage girls and young women. In its final half hour, the show pulled in more than a third of all women. So that means one in three women you pass on the street were watching this absurd program. Under the, uh, one in a third women under um, age, thir one in three women under the age 35 watching television on Tuesday were, wa were watching this program. And I think it's just absolutely absurd. This is what this culture has come to. You know, you've seen all the game shows, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which, by the way, I'm boycotting. I don't watch anymore. Um, I did because I, I thought it was enjoyable for a while. It's just starting to get on my nerves now. Um, 21, I believe, is another one, and Winning Lines, maybe. And, and they just canceled one on CBS, a Dick Clark one. So. This is everywhere. This, Fox also had something like greed, maybe. This was their attempt. It was a special. Now, they were going to re-air the special uh, sometime this week, I believe, and they were going to condense it into an hour format. But I guess it turns out that this millionaire, uh, Rick Rockwell, that sounds like a millionaire name, doesn't it? Who was actually from the Pittsburgh area. Um, Fox Chapel, they just told me in my ear, graduated in 1975. They're telling me in my ear. Um, that he, I guess, is from the Pittsburgh area, and he's this multimillionaire. And it turns out that, in looking back, he had he had some offenses against him. I guess he was uh, abused an ex-girlfriend or something like that. So Fox has decided, no, we're not going to re-air the program now. Well, and then I've heard rumors circulating today, people just talking about this that that he isn't actually a millionaire or something. And I don't know. Well, whatever. It turns out. It, they just told me he he is he's a comedian, but I did hear I'm talking to my ear. I did hear that that he did like lose money or something. I don't know that he, he's not a millionaire or something. I don't know, but I have heard that he's a comedian. I heard he was a very good comedian, but I still think he's kind of strange if this is how you'd pick your your wife. But 
there was like a prenuptial agreement, I, I presume. Um, they went on the honeymoon. They had separate rooms. So, I mean, wouldn't that be kind of strange? I mean, not in this society. Not in this society, it really wouldn't be. Um, but, this, you know, the special was shown during Sweeps Month. This is the stuff that you're going to see. Um, and people really tuned in to watch it. So, I did hear maybe that they were going to do it again or, or something. I hope not. I'll still be watching, like, the Republican primary. As dry as that was last week, that was, like, the driest of them all yet. But I'll still watch that over this stupid show any day. But that's that. That's, I just had to, to talk about that. And if it's on again, like, don't, please don't watch it. Watch anything else. Watch us. Watch me. Take, take my show and watch it over and over again a couple times. That's a good idea. Um, we're going to take a break. When we come back, uh, we're going to be speaking with Carol George, registered di dietitian from the Clarion Hospital. Back after this. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant. The Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant is located at 540 Main Street in Clarion and offers dining as well as a nightclub. The restaurant and nightclub are open seven days a week for your convenience. Call the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant, 226-8400. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Clarion Office Equipment. Clarion Office Equipment is located on Greenville Avenue Extension in Clarion. They can handle all your office equipment and computer needs. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can call Clarion Office Equipment at 226-8753. It's not just about making plans. It's about making a difference and taking an interest, not just earning it. It owns it's out more than investing. It's about knowing you. My every hope, my life, my world, it all begins with a dream. Edward Jones, investing in you and your dreams. In Clary, you see Gary Martin located on Main Street, phone 226-7896. I said, you know, it wouldn't a better name for a movie to come out now, and I think I'm going to make the movie or write the book. It would be a great book to have, and you can uh, call uh, to get her book. Um, you can also find it online. I have a feeling I'm going to be rather opinionated. People I know, so what's awesome about scheduling? Um, why is it? Why is it that students have such a problem here? With students Tuesdays to feedback with Mark Despotakis every Tuesday and Wednesday night, beginning at 7:30 p.m. Because we're totally out of time. No time to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow. And we are back on feedback. As promised, we're going to be talking about how to be a little bit healthier this year. Carol George from the Clarion Hospital, registered dietitian. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, let's just talk about general general health. You know, we're, we're about what? We're going into the third month of the new year here, and I'm sure everyone made these New Year's resolutions. I want to be healthier. I want to lose weight. Um, is that necessarily a good way to say, hey, I want to go on a diet. I'm just going to start tomorrow and go on a diet, or is it just a way of living? Um. I think basically the, the best thing that you can do for yourself is, is make the choice to have a healthier lifestyle. And I think that's what you have to do. You have to make, make a difference um, with everything that you do in your life. You can eat healthy, not exercise, and not see any benefits. Mm. So you have, to, you have to sort of make it a lifestyle change. Okay, so uh, then what is your role in that? I mean, or, or would we come to you and you're going to tell us maybe what, what we should be eating and how we should be exercising? Sure. I, I, that is one of the things I've been trained to do. Um, I would prescribe a meal plan for you. We would go over it. We would make sample menus. Um, oh. And we would do um, how to prepare things in a healthier style. Um, oh. Baking and broiling versus frying. Um, just stir fry, um, doing those kinds of things to, to retain nutrients but uh, not get so much fat. Um, and we would talk about that. And it would take probably about an hour, hour and a half if you would come and see me um, to set up a no, no, it isn't. It isn't too bad at all. Uh, exercise, I can give you some pointers on exercise. I am not an exercise guru right. um, per se, but we do have an exercise um, 
physiology person at um, the hospital that can help you out with that. So we could refer you to both. One of us could refer you to the other. Right. Well, um, so much I hear lately, everybody, like the one thing I always hear is, I'm going on a diet and I'm starting tomorrow. And I always, I mean, do, do you advocate that? And, and I'm going on a two-week diet. <laughs> do you advocate something like that at all? No. No. If you're going to, well, one thing I, I don't, advocate is diet. Mm -hmm. um, I like I like to em emphasize that you know if you want to if you want to eat healthier you want to lose weight then you need to change your eating style. Um, okay. So it's not really a diet that you're going on you're actually changing um, right. your entire lifestyle. And for two weeks if mm -hmm. you're going to lose weight in two weeks right. you're going to put it all back on probably and then some. So yeah. you, you definitely have some problems there and mm -hmm. the appropriate weight gain just as a little side note or weight loss um, is a pound to a pound and a half a week. Oh. And that's actually proving that you're changing your patterns um, and that your, um, your weight gain is, your, or I'm sorry, your weight loss mm -hmm. is actually going to stay off. Oh, okay. Well, so th that, that's sort of ruled out then, the two-week diet. How about yeah. what I hear all the time? I have, I have family members who are doing it, and I, I, I seem skeptical with the Atkins diet. Mm -hmm. And well, first of all, what's your take on, on this whole Atkins diet where you, I guess you can only eat certain foods that we would probably look upon as something that's not very healthy, right? Um, correct. And I, the basis of that is that you're actually starving yourself. So you give yourself all protein. Um, so that would be all of your meats, eggs, um, and fat. So you feed yourself milk, eggs, mayonnaise, bacon, butter. So you eat all the things that we all really love but mm -hmm. we're told to steer clear of. Right. So what this diet is saying is if you eat all of these foods, you will take weight off. And that's because you're starving yourself and it works. I mean, that's the popularity of it. The popularity is, is that you will take off weight. But as soon as you start incorporating your carbohydrates, your mm -hmm. breads, your rice, your pasta back into your diet, you put the weight back on. Because I, you know, I go to lunch you know, when I'm home you know, with the, the family members who are on the diet and then we'll go on a weekend and will be like, oh, I can eat bread, and that's mm -hmm. and it's it seems to me that, that that's not the healthiest route because you're you're obviously doing what you're not supposed to on this. Is it would you call it a fad diet? I I would. I mean, you're not obviously doing what you're prescribed, and then you're doing it. But how? I mean, you live your life like that for right. your life. And the problem with that is that on the weekends, then when you do eat your bread, your body is so thankful that you have given mm -hmm. it something for energy that it stores it anyway. So you just oh. put the weight back on. So it's right. a very it's a very it's a terrible thing in the fact that it works for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They see a lot of good results. It's a bad thing for your body. Um, kidney stones, you have mm -hmm. an increased risk of heart disease, um, you oh. know, liver damage. There's, there's, a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of complications to overeating right. on protein. Um, so it's just, it's, it's one of the things that, you know, if you want to lose weight, you need to lose weight the appropriate right. way. Well, you know, maybe gearing this a little bit to college students, since I know there are you know, college students out there watching us, it seems anything I eat almost is is fried in some way, and I know it's not good for me. But it's just all with with hectic schedules that a lot of college students have. It's sort of what we what we can get and what we can eat right now, and I, we know it's not good for us. But you know, maybe what? How can we make ourselves healthier in, in what we have to choose from? Well. One of the best things about being a college student is you have to walk a lot. That's true. <laughs> You're right. You get a lot of exercise um, running back and forth between classes and, and to the parking lot, to the car, to, to wherever, back, back home. But, you know, that is something that as, as a college, you know, maybe you need to address in the cafeteria. And I know you just within walking distance is a Wendy's and a Kentucky right. Fried Chicken. And when you go there, you just need to make the healthier choice. You know, if you're going to have a Wendy's burger with a baked potato instead of the french fries, that's a great choice to have mm. the baked potato. Just, you know, you just shouldn't load stuff. it up with, you know, cheese and bacon mm -hmm. and broccoli, you right. know, have the baked potato with a little bit of butter and some sour cream and, and you have a healthy, a much healthier dinner. Well, what are some of the best tips overall maybe of what, what, what are the healthier foods? We always say, eat, eat, people say, eat healthier foods. What are the healthier foods maybe we should be eating? Um, all of your whole grains. Um, are going to be really good for you. So if you can, if you're eating um, plain white bread right now, if you could mm -hmm. switch to one of the grains, whether it be whole wheat, pumpernickel, or rye, Ooh, I didn't um, realize that. that that's real good for you. It actually increases your fiber, so um, it is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Six to eight glasses of water okay. is always important. Um, you want to try, they say, three eggs a week. 
uh, you get lots of vitamins and minerals um, and essential fatty acids that you need from eggs, so they're mm. real good. And just your basic starches. And you need to eat four times a day. Four? Four times a day. You need breakfast, lunch, dinner, and an evening snack. Oh. And, and I do the snack. Good. <laughs> good. That's good. I do, too. It's one of my favorites. And um, you just need eight, eight glasses of water. Okay. Well, running out of time here. Thank you for joining us. I mean, such a broad topic. So much more we could talk about. Uh, thanks for joining us. And if people want to come see these, call up the Clarion Hospital. Call the hospital. Okay. That's right. Great. Thanks, Carol George. Thank you. For joining us. Thanks. Um, we're going to be back right after this, but actually what you're going to see, I'm going to like go change clothes real fast. Actually, you're going to see a tape of an interview I did last week with uh, Doralee Smathers from the Clarion County Job Center. We'll be back right after this. of the programming was made possible through a grant by Curly Tires. Curly Tires is located on Greenville Avenue Extension in Clarion. They offer a wide variety of tires to meet your car or truck needs. Curly Tire is open Monday through Saturday. Call 226-6657. That's Curly Tire. Phone 226-6657. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Timberlands Restaurant. The Timberlands Restaurant is located near Interstate 80 and Route 68 in the Holiday Inn. The Timberlands Restaurant is open daily 6.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and from 4 to 10 p.m. Call 226-8850. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by the Pizza Pub. The Pizza Pub is located at 1306 East Main Street in Clarion and offers radio dispatch delivery. Call 226-8721. The Pizza Pub is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone them at 226-8721. stations are showing their boring programming. Only one station is bringing news coverage closer to home. Now I'll show you here first on five. Every Tuesday and Wednesday night at 8 p.m., join the area's news leader, TV5 News. Tune in for the latest in local, regional, state, and national news. Plus, with our newspaper exchange partner, the Clarion News, teaming up to bring news coverage closer to home every Tuesday and Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Welcome back to Feedback. Uh, joining us today, as I said earlier, is Doralee Smathers from the Clarion County Job Center. Thank you for joining us. Um, I, I didn't even know that there was something like this in the area. Could you explain to us what exactly the Job Center is? Okay. The Job Center uh, works with, uh, we have several different jobs. We uh, deal with the unemployment compensation claims and that's the way most people think of our office or remember it. But we also provide employment services and we provide services to both job seekers and employers and we can um, also assist individuals who are looking for employment to um, improve their job search skills. We have workshops, we have uh, internet available uh, in the job center, we have uh, resume writers, uh, individuals can come in, prepare their resume, cover letter, so that they can go out and apply for jobs. Do we have to pay for this if we come to use this? No. For, oh, really? This is there is there are no requirements for use of our services, mm -hmm. and there's no payment. There's no cost. It's all covered through the employer's taxes. Wow. Okay. Um, well, if we want to come to the center. Where is it at? <laughs> okay. We just uh, have had some changes. Just recently moved to Applewood Center. We're in the second building, in the lower part of the second building, right beside the Department of Health. Okay. Um, so let's say I'm someone who I've just lost a job. What can you do if I come to you, like I, I need some help finding a job and I come to you, take me through the process of me getting back into the workforce. Okay. Uh, first of all, when you come into our office, we'll have you fill out some information, uh, giving us your work history, your education, uh, all items that we need to help you 
find other employment. And then after we gather that information, we, of course, that's all entered into the computer. And as we have job openings come up, we would use those, uh, that information on all of our applicants to determine if we have applicants that meet the employer's requirements. So you're having actual businesses from the community coming to you and saying, we need a job. Mm -hmm. Well, we need a, an someone employee. to fill a job, right. right. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, is that a, you have a pretty large turnout of businesses in the area? Well, we have uh, different businesses use us in different ways. Uh, some only hire through our office. Others uh, will contact our office, put ads mm -hmm. in the paper, a variety of uh, different, uh, okay. try different avenues. And we had, um, we had, uh, let's see, I have some notes here on numbers, uh, 294 uh, where individuals were placed in jobs listed with our office. But then we also have information on jobs throughout the United States. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. are you, you're like part of a larger network right. in that way? Mm -hmm. um, say I do come in and give the information to you that I want a job. How long are you going to hold that before, you know, maybe my information changes? How long do you hold it in your office? As long as you continue to keep it active, we'll keep it active indefinitely. Oh, so... And that means you have to come in every 60 days and let us know you're still looking for work. Okay. Well... It, Say I'm, I, I'm out there looking for the job and I, I really want a specific job, you know, maybe uh, for, for my career goals. Um, how, how successful maybe are you in, in placing people on actual what they really want and not maybe a job lower than they want? Well, <clears throat> a lot of times what job an individual wants, most of the time they're looking at the wages. Mm -hmm. That helps you eat. Sure. Clothe your family. Absolutely. The, um, but we have to be realistic just the same as the job seeker has mm -hmm. to be realistic. And if an employer asks for specific skills or a specific amount of experience, then those are the only individuals we can send to that employer unless they change the requirements. Oh, oh, okay. Because they give us the requirements mm -hmm. and then we review right. our files to see if we have individuals who meet those requirements. Well then, okay. Um, who are you seeing coming to you the most? Is there maybe a specific age group or is, is, what's the group that's coming to you? Okay. Um, our program year starts on July 1st and from July 1st of 99 through December 31st of 99, we had 3,183 applic active applicants mm -hmm. and of those, 1,203 were claimants, individuals receiving unemployment compensation. Okay. And then uh, we had males over 21, 1,558, uh, females, 1,348, mm. and uh, then minorities, we had 53, 62 individuals with disabilities, and 446 veterans. So you are getting a lot of, I mean, this is, like, like I said, I hadn't heard of this, maybe I'm just mm -hmm. out of the loop. There are a lot of people uh, right. using the services. Um, maybe leads into this next question. Every time I open the paper, I read something about the good economy or the, the low unemployment mm -hmm. rate. Is that, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm presuming that's helping you. I mean, what is your take on, on the good economy and the low unemployment rates, and is it affecting Clarion County? Well, as the unemployment rate changes, uh, it becomes an employer's market or it becomes a job seeker's market. And right now, of course, there are fewer people looking for employment. They're already employed. So uh, it's a job seekers market right now. Yeah. Um, the bit, another big thing I see every day is technology. Are you finding that people are saying that you need to have some technical skills before we can hire the person? And is that is that maybe causing a problem? I mean, I know you said you have the internet access <laughs> there. To um, well, more and more people are either uh, coming out of school with a computer background, had classes in it, or learned how to operate a computer in school or adults have been going back to school and getting mm -hmm. uh, some training on the computers. Mm -hmm. And yes, more and more businesses are using computers. Well then, um, well, you know, say someone's in a bad job right now. They don't like what they're doing. Um, what's your advice to them? They, they want to move on, they want to get a better job. Mm -hmm. What advice can you give them? Well, first of all, they need to look at themselves. They need to assess themselves. They need to determine um, what 
they want and be realistic about it and then also determine what their skills and experience education mm -hmm. uh, what those are to determine whether or not they meet the requirements right. of those that type of the job if they do of course then I would suggest they get into the job seeking it's a full-time job really mm -hmm. when you right. when you start doing it and then if an individual does not have those skills then they probably that's the type of job they really want they should go um, and get some training in that area so how long have you been with the job center I've been in I was in moved to Clarion about nine years ago and I have worked uh, here in Clarion uh, Oil City Lancaster I was back in Oil City <laughs> So I've worked around a lot of different offices. I have a total of 26 years with the state. Okay. Um, last couple seconds left. Give us a brief recap of your services and where we can come uh, to get the assistance. Okay. Uh, we can provide the employment services, help individuals find jobs, give them the skills that they need to find, to do a better job mm -hmm. of looking for work. Uh, we can provide qualified individuals to employers. We also have... Uh, aptitude testing and some different types of testing that we do for employers and we provide the unemployment compensation and then also um, if if someone needs information on label labor laws anything like that if we can't answer the question we can give them information to help them get in touch with the right place all right we're out of time but once again where where are you located we're in Applewood Center okay and that's on South 2nd Avenue we're in the second building, and that's in the rear of the second building beside the Department of Health. All right, Dorley Smathers from the Clarion County Job Center, thank you for joining you. us. We'll be back right after this. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by The Carpet Barn. The Carpet Barn is located at 470 South 5th Avenue in Clarion. The Carpet Barn is open Monday through Saturday for all your carpet needs. So call The Carpet Barn, 226-7332. Getting out from the crowd is easy when you stop in at Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall. Whether you're looking for junior trendy, girls, or fashion for women, they have it all with many different styles. With our newly expanded shoe and accessory department, you're surely to find that special touch to enhance that new outfit. And if you have a fashion question, our experts are here to help. At Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall, This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's Pizza Den is located on Old Route 66 in Clarion and offers all-day delivery. Phone 226-5555. That's 226-5555. Fox's Pizza Den is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone 226-5555. Portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Mulligan's Lounge. Mulligan's Lounge is located near I-80 and Route 68 in the Holiday Inn. Mulligan's Lounge is open seven days a week for your convenience. Call 226-8850. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for our guests for being here. Thanks for watching us. Totally out of time. See you next week. Have a good week.